What do popsicle sticks have to do with crappie fishing? Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you. Hello folks, welcome to another Baker Bit. As promised, today I'm gonna to show you an inexpensive way to store uh, your spider rigs. There's no question but that uh, the use of these tackle buddies uh, is a very popular way to store uh, your spider rigs. I use them. As you can see, uh, I have a number of these things. However, these things are pretty pricey. They are about $10 a piece at Bass Pro Shop. Here's a shot of these tackle buddies uh, at Bass Pro, as you can see. They're pricey, especially when you get a number of them like I have. So I came up with an inexpensive way to uh, store these spider rigs, and it's with the use of popsicle sticks. Simply go to Walmart or your craft store, buy you a package of jumbo popsicle sticks. Get you a bag of rubber bands. Then what I do is I take a stack of these popsicle sticks as I showed you in the intro. I get on my bandsaw and I just uh, flatten out each end and then I just cut a few slits on each end. These slits just make sure the line doesn't uh, come off of the end of the popsicle stick and you can put your hook down in one of those slits and put your rubber band on there at the end and uh, it, it keeps these rigs uh, very secure and stable. And I'll show you how I use them after I get my sticks cut. So let's say you've got a double hook rig, the Caps and Coleman rig like I demonstrated for you in an earlier video. I just take my Caps and Coleman rig and I start from the end furthest away from the swivel, three-way swivel, only because then you have less wraps over that swivel to possibly hang up. So I take the far end away from the swivel, just put it in one of the slots that you've cut on the end of the popsicle stick, and then just start winding it up. And you can put that line through any of those slits, it doesn't matter. Like I said, it just sort of keeps that line in place. You come on, let that three-way sw uh, swivel just lay against the popsicle stick, come down, and then you've got your uh, final hook in that's just free. And so the way to secure that, to keep that from flopping around or getting tangled up, is to simply take a rubber band, put it on the hook, and then put it on the end of the popsicle stick. Depending on the length of the line, I may... Uh, pull that pop uh, that uh, rubber band a little tighter and you can just put it in one of those slits and there you have it That rig stored on a popsicle stick You want to use it of course just go to the end of the rubber band unwrap it Take the hook off the rubber band Unwrap those Take your hook out and there you have it you have your rig, got your popsicle stick, save it for future use. Now you can also use these popsicle stick holders to uh, keep a Kentucky rig like I showed you in one of the earlier videos. You just take your Kentucky rig, this one I've tied with a hook and a jig, and just start with your two-way swivel. And what I do here is just take that swivel, place that line down in a slit, you got your swivel there, and then just start wrapping. Now your first hook 
the wood is soft enough that you can just stick that hook in that wood and it'll stay like that. So then you just keep wrapping. Do the same thing with your next hook or jig, whatever you have. Just stick it right in that popsicle stick and then just keep wrapping your line. And then the way I tie my Kentucky rigs, as you know from my earlier video, I have a snap swivel at the end. Just take your rubber band, put it in that snap and do the same thing. Run that rubber band around, put it in one of the slits, and there you have it. You have a little cheap, inexpensive way to keep your Kentucky rigs. And then what I do is I just take my rigs, get me a Ziploc bag, I can label them with the various uh, different types of rigs I have, put them in my Ziploc bag, throw them in the boat, you're out spider rigging. You need a rig. Reach in, get it, unwrap it, tie it on, clip it on, and there you have it. It's that simple. But wait, you say, Mike, I don't have a bandsaw. That's okay. You don't have to have a bandsaw. It's a little more tedious and time consuming, but just take a pair of scissors. Take your popsicle stick. You can cut the end off of it if you want. I don't really think that's necessary uh, in this situation. I just take and I cut a little V with my scissors. Be careful, try not to split that stick. Like I said, it takes a little longer to do these. You have to do them one at a time but it sure saves a lot of money. Just cut you a V in each end of that stick. And then you can do the same thing with either rig. This is a Kentucky rig. I'm sorry, yeah. This is uh, one of the Kentucky rigs. So just start with that swivel. Kind of put it behind that V. It'll hold it in place. Start wrapping. Same principle. Put your hook in there. If you can get it out of your finger. Put your hook in there. In this situation, that line's such that I can just pop that hook right in that V. They're not always tied the same uh, length, so you just have to deal with them. Wrap it. This other hook. I'll just stick it in the popsicle stick, come on around, take my rubber band, put it in the snap, bring it down, put that rubber band in the V, and there you have it. So don't worry if you don't have a bandsaw, you can do it with scissors, it takes a little more time, but that's it. They're very inexpensive. Obviously these popsicle sticks uh, uh, don't cost much, bag of rubber bands, and there you have it. Thanks for being with me.